Welcome to the Dr. Mundial Podcast. This is episode 124. We are officially in April. Um, wow, it is a cold and rainy beginning to April. I mean, it was like storming like crazy here in New York yesterday. Got some sun out now, which is nice, but it's cold. It's like, you know, un un unseasonably cold. But what I'm hearing is next week is going to be nicer. So they say, uh, you know, March comes in like a lion, goes out like a lamb. But I think that lion is still roaring a little bit. Uh, but hopefully those April showers bring May flowers, as uh, as they say. So looking forward to the weather warming up. Um, it's a, well, exciting weekend coming up. You know, Final Four action, uh, men's and women's. Um, you know, this is the first year that, you know, I think many of us have been actually watching both the men's and women's tournaments. I mean, it's just great action on both sides, which is really cool to see. Um, this big solar eclipse is coming up on Monday. So, you know, lots of exciting things to look forward to. We got my, well, actually my wife got glasses for us. Um, so that'll be exciting. Um, I think the last one was when I was in like elementary school or something. So looking forward to that. Um, so anyways, let's dive right into the content of this podcast. Um, so this podcast is going to be kind of like a hashtag Ask Dr. Mudgill style podcast, but it's actually more of like a mindset motivational. So it's like a fusion of a thoughts of the week and a hashtag Ask Dr. Mudgill. But this is what I'm really excited to talk about. So let's dive right in. So it actually comes with a question and the question comes in from, I think it's Reddit, right? Uh, this question comes in from Reddit. And uh, the question is, should I just suck it up and go to nursing school? And it's in a, in a career advice. It's a career advice question. And the question is, my 18 year old female twin sister and I are seniors in high school. She didn't apply to any colleges, but I got accepted into quite a few universities. So I have my pick. My family was homeless for a few months this school year, and it really scared me into wanting a stable career like nursing. Plus, both my parents are nurses. My mom really wants me to do nursing, but truly, it's not my calling. I don't really have any other ideas or passions either. It's not something I actually want to do but I never want to be homeless again. What should we do? Well, God, there's so much to unpack there. Um, and I'll kind of, you know, sort of piece my way through this. First of all, congratulations. I mean, wow, what a story already that I mean, I don't, I don't know really anything about you except that little bit that you shared, but you sound like quite the impressive young woman. I mean, God, your family went through a ton of adversity this year. Um, somehow you persevered. You must have done very well in your schooling, you know, despite all this adversity, you got into a bunch of universities and now you're like, wow, you know, what should I do? And the reason why I love this question too, just because of the time of year that we're in, you know, a lot of, well, really all kids who apply to college are hearing back from the schools that they apply to, whether they get in or not, and have to make their choice of where they want to go. So you're in the same boat as so many high school seniors and, um, it's tough. It is a very, very tough question. I mean, I'm going to start by saying that there is absolutely no right answer to this question, and there's absolutely no wrong answer to this question. Um, you know, but I will say that you know, college, depending on like what you want to do with your life, the the utility of college um, ha has changed quite a bit. You know, it used to be like you needed a college degree to get a good job and you know, kind of climb your way up the latter, but I think the way that a lot of folks are looking at college these days um, is more of sort of like a, the road for a pre-professional. So like, you know, if you want to go to nursing school, frequently you need to have, you know, depending on the type of nurse you want to be uh, or plan on being, you need to have a bachelor's degree, then you go to nursing school, or some schools have a combined program where you get a bachelor's in nursing, and then you can go on to get your doctorate or master's or, or, or whatever advanced degree you choose to have. Um, you know, if you want to be a dentist, you have to have a college degree. If you want to be a doctor, you have to have a college degree. If you want to be a physician's assistant, or if you want to be an accountant and go to business school, or you want to be a lawyer, you know, if you're on this like pre-professional track, you know, college is kind of, you know, it's an important step because you have to go to college to get into graduate school or most graduate schools that is. Um, but, you know, just to like kind of aimlessly go to college and, you know, you know, take on a massive amount of debt if you need to take out loans and stuff and kind of do it somewhat aimlessly, I would say. It's kind of like falling out of vogue. I think a lot of people are realizing that, you know, just having a college degree doesn't really provide that much value. I mean, of course, there's a great education that you get, you know, diving deep into, you know, various subject matter, um, of course, is, um, I mean, 
it's amazing to be able to do that, but it's not really requisite to having like, you know, a productive life, you know, especially if you're going to be doing something that doesn't require a college degree, like, you know, like being an entrepreneur or, you know, what there's a million things that you could do without a college degree. Um, so the question really is, you know, like, what are you planning on doing? And I get it. You're 18 years old and you have no idea, like most 18 year olds, what the future holds for them. Um, you know, when I was, you know, since I was a little kid, you know, my, I can't, I grew up in a single parent household. My mom was a physician. Um, you know, she was like a government doctor. She worked for the VA hospital. She was also in the military. And, you know, she was not like this, you know, like baller doctor that, that you think of like in the eighties, you know, she had a government job. We had, you know, a very, you know, sort of basic, you know, upbringing, not flashy or fancy at all. We grew up in like, you know, uh, just, you know, regular sort of, um, middle class, even like I would say, you know, lower middle class to middle class, uh, neighborhood. And, um, but for her having that advanced degree and being a physician enabled her to escape, you know, a dreadful married situation and, you know, raise two boys on her own. And, you know, for her, that degree was like her salvation. That was like her escape ticket from a really bad situation. So for my brother and I, it was always drilled into our head since we were really, really little that, hey, you guys have to be doctors, you have to be doctors, you have to be doctors, you have to be doctors. And there really wasn't, we didn't really have, you know, much of a choice. In fact, I, I tell this story a lot. My older brother, who's an ophthalmologist, um, when he was in college, he toyed with the idea of going to law school. You know, he was like really interested. He was like great at debating and all that sort of stuff. And he, you know, he's like, you know, what? I really don't want to go to med school. Even though he was on like a, a, he he got into sort of this medical program right out of high school. So it was like a seven year program where you spend three years in college and then you go to medical school. It's an accelerated medical program you know, to become a doctor, you know, share a year off of that process. But while he was, and he was doing great, you know, in school and stuff. And while he was going through his undergraduate years, he want, he decided that he wanted to go to law school. So he told my mom, he's like, hey, you know, my, like, I think I actually want to be a lawyer, not a doctor. And she said, you yep, know, that's fine. You could go to law school, but you have to go to medical school first. And you know, she was actually dead serious. You know, she wasn't kidding around at all. So he ended up going to medical school and, you know, he, he never ended up going to law school. Um, it was very much the same for me. Like, you know, I, I really, you know, had I not been on this track to go to medical school, I don't know, you know, what I would have ended up doing. Um, so, you know, I always, you know, if you were to ask me when I was in like first or second grade, like what I'm going to do with my life, I always said, yeah, I want to be a doctor because, you know, that's what my mom told me. And um, it ended up becoming reality. Um, you know, I love what I do and I can't imagine doing anything else. Uh, but I actually never really thought about doing much else. You know, like when I went to college, I was on the pre-med track, and then I applied to medical school, and, you know, the rest is history. Um, but, you know, I kind of get, like, where your folks, or I think you said it was your mom, is coming from. You know, I think it's important, like, you're going to college to be on some sort of track. That doesn't mean you need to be stuck on the track, or you need to, you know, like, you don't have to, you know, you might decide like when you're in college, even if you're on a nursing track, you might say, hey, you know what? I actually think I want to go to law school or I think I want to go to medical school. Or I think I want to go to PA school. You know, you're not, that track is not definitive. You know, even if you start college on a, on a pre-nursing track, that can always change. You know, the more you're exposed to and as your interests, you know, evolve, you might decide that, you might decide, hey, you know, I think I love to actually do like nursing. And, you know, every field is very, very vast. So even in medicine, you know, what I do is very different from them from what like a radiologist does or an orthopedic surgeon does or a pediatrician does or, you know, like a radiation oncologist does. I mean, there's so many fields in medicine and each of them are so drastically different from each other that there's kind of like something for everybody. You know, some doctors don't see patients at all. They just do research or some doctors just teach. Um, some doctors, you know, just don't practice anything, anything to do with medicine. You know, they work in, in the business world. Um, you know, there's so many options when you have an advanced degree, including, you know, a nursing degree. So I do think it's helpful. I think, you know, our parents, and I'm, I'm a parent now, um, you know, we do accumulate some wisdom as time goes on. And, you know, it's funny, the things that my mom would tell me and I would be like, ah, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Like when I was a teenager, I'm like, oh, wow, you know, she was actually right about this stuff. And, you know, I, my kids are teenagers now. And, you know, I'm sure the things that I tell them, they're like, ah, dad, you know, you're an old man. You don't know anything about this. But I think, you know, one day they may say, hey, you know what? You know, dad may have, may have known a thing or two 
Um, so I get where your folks are coming from. Um, and I also get that you're not passionate about, you know, nursing. Um, but I, listen, putting my dad hat on here, I, th I think it, it's a good idea to, you know, be on a track when you start school. So I'm not, again, there's no right answer. There's no wrong answer here. But I think if you pick your college that you want to go to, you know, and, you know, whatever that, whatever may influence that choice, you know, if you got a great financial aid package somewhere or, you know, you got into like your dream school that you always thought about going to when you were a kid, you know, all these things factor into where you're going to ultimately decide to go. But I think starting on some kind of track, you know, and for you, you know, your parents are nurses, you've been exposed to it. I mean, it doesn't mean you have to start on that track, but you could start on a pre-nursing or pre-medical track. And, you know, that could turn into so many things. Like a lot of folks that I knew that were pre-med ended up going to like dental school um, or, you know, just some of them ended up going to like law school or business school or just, you know, working at, in finance in some way. They're going to business school later on. Um, you know, there's lots of, you don't know where things are going to take you, where, you know, where the road may end up. But my feeling is it's good to be on some sort of track. So I think your parents are onto something. I think, uh, you know, it's not a bad idea to start out, you know, pre-nursing, which is basically the same thing as pre-med. You might decide you want to be a physician's assistant. You might decide, might decide you want to be a dermatologist. I don't know. Um, but um, I'm proud of you regardless. You know, I, I don't know you, but your story is something that's, uh, you know, it's, it inspires me to even be to even be uh, speaking with you virtually. Um, you've overcome a lot, and someone like yourself who's overcome so much adversity is you know just destined for success. You know, it sounds like you got that hustling grind uh, just instilled into your DNA. So that's that's going to take you a real long way. So congratulations to you. Uh, you know, I'm proud of what you achieved. You're not going to make a wrong choice here. Um, any choice you make is the right choice and uh you know hopefully the content of this podcast will um you know influence you positively you know, whatever you choose to do so with that i hope you have a wonderful restful weekend um and i uh, hope all of you you know, enjoy the final four action and and the upcoming eclipse which is very exciting lots of excitement you know this weekend and early next week so have a wonderful week let's get it